Hello, my dear students. Our lesson today is 3B messages, page 36 in the student's book. Number one, read. Read the dialogue below. Can you understand any of it? Yeah. Try to read it. Then we will know. Is it difficult? Okay, let's read it together. Here's a, a dialogue between Key Boy and his friend Yu Yu. How was the museum yesterday? Yes, here. Sad. Boring. Why? Here. It's slaby. Yeah, he's slaby. It's boring. L O L. Lol. We will know the meaning of it. Are you coming two days later? No. Why? He said. Okay. Please. Okay. And he's happy. Thanks. See you at nine. Okay. Don't be late. Next. Listen and read. Does the text help you understand the dialogue above better? After listening to this text, does it help me to understand the dialogue above? Okay, let's listen and read together. Listen carefully. 3B Messages 1 Read. B. Listen and read. Does the text help you understand the dialogue above better? Chat speak. A beginner's guide. Chat speak is also called net speak because you can use it on the net and in emails. Another name is SMS language because lots of people use it when they write text messages on mobile phones. It all started because people wanted a short and easier way to write messages. On mobiles, the keyboard is small, and this makes writing difficult. And also, text messages used to be expensive. It may be faster to write in chat speak, but sometimes it can be slower to read than normal writing. In chat speak, you can type one letter, and it can mean a whole word. For example, the letter B means B, or the letter Y means Y. You can also shorten words and use symbols and numbers. Okay, complete. For example, PLS means please, and L8TR means later. Another thing you can do is shorten phrases to letters, like BRB means be right back or when something is funny you can type lol laugh out loud there are no set rules to chat speak you can shorten any word just make sure the receiver of the message understands it you can also add smileys to your chat speak just to make it more interesting smileys show people how you're feeling without using words so if you're happy, type colon dash closing bracket. But if you're sad, you can type colon dash open bracket. You can even type open bracket dash underscore dash close brackets, lowercase z, lowercase z, uppercase z, uppercase z, to show you are bored or sleepy. So, can you understand chat speak now? Okay, thank you, my dear students. Now we will read it together. Chat speak, a beginner's guide. Chat speak means uh, chat speak is also called the net speak because you can use it on the internet and in emails. Chat speak or net speak is the language that you use or the writing that you use. Uh, 
on the internet and when writing emails another name is SMS language SMS language so chat speak net speak or SMS language are the names for this writing another name is SMS language because lots of people use it when they write text messages on mobile phones so chat speak Net speak or SMS language are the names for it and I can use it on the internet and in writing emails or when writing text messages it all started because people wanted a short and easier way to write messages when you're writing you wanted you want a short and easier way to write so they created the chat speak or net speak also mobile phones on mobiles the keyboard is small and this makes writing difficult so you want a shorter way a shorter writing uh, to write and the other person understands you and also text messages used to be expensive it may be faster to write in chat speak but sometimes it can be slower to read than normal writing in chat speak you can type one letter and it can mean a, a whole word for example B means B or Y means Y you can also shorten words and use symbols and numbers you can use symbols or numbers instead of words next for example, PLS means please and LHTR means later. Another thing you can do is shorten phrases to letters like BRB means be right back. Or when something is funny, you can type LOL means laugh out loud. There are no set rules to chat speak this writing has no rules you can shorten any word just make sure the receiver of the message understands it you should make sure that the person who is reading it understands it you can also add smiles to your chat speak you can use smiles <coughs> and all of us know it just to make it more interesting smiles show people how you're feeling without using words so if you're happy you can type calling dash close brackets but if you're sad you can type calling dash open brackets you can even type open brackets dash underscore dash close brackets lower z lower z upper z upper z to show you are bored or sleepy when you feel sleepy you can use this smiley so can you understand understand chat speak now here is a guide for chat speak and the smiley dictionary here you can find it uh, in page Yeah, page yes. page sixty one. Page sixty one. Next, yeah, read again and answer the questions. Number one What are the two names for chat speak? Yeah, how can answer? Chat speak, huh, we said net speak or sms language very good net speak or sms language number two where can you use chat speak where can you use it very good on the internet and in writing emails or in text messages on the on the net in emails or in text messages number three why did people start using chat speak why did people use it? 
Why did people create it? Yeah, because they wanted shorter and easier way to write. Very good. Because they wanted a short and easier way to write messages. Number four. Why can chat speak be a problem for readers? Okay. Because it can be slower to read than normal writing. If you read chat speak, it's slower to read it than normal writing. Number five, what's the most important thing to remember when writing chat speak? Yeah, you should make sure that the reader, the person who receives it, will understand it. Yeah, to make sure the receiver of the message understands it. What do smiles show? What do smiles show? Yeah, it shows how you are feeling. They show, they show how you are feeling without words. Next, yeah. Uh, vocabulary complete the sentences with the words in the box. The words are type. I can type very quickly on the keyboard. Text messages, text, receive, or get, note, and smiley. Yeah, number one. Who can answer number one? Okay, very good. Number one, can you space Peter about tomorrow's trip? He doesn't know what time we're leaving. Can you? Yeah, very good. Can you text? Can you text Peter about tomorrow's trip? Number two, Janie, Janie sent an email to her cousin in Australia, but she didn't space it. She didn't. She didn't get it. She didn't receive it. Very good. Receive it. Three. I left a space on the fridge. Didn't you see it? I left a... Okay, very good. I left a note on the fridge. Number four. Yeah. How fast can you space on your computer? How fast can you... Very good. Can you... Type on your computer. How fast can you type? Number five. My brother often adds a space to the end of his messages. And they always make me laugh. Yeah, make me laugh. So, they are smileys. Yeah. My brother often adds a smiley to the end of his messages. Number six. I sometimes send my parents a space and they can't understand one word. They can't read chat speak. Yeah, I, I sent I send them text messages in chat speak. Text messages. Okay, my dear sins, next pronunciation. Listen and repeat what's the difference between A and B. We will listen and know the difference between A and B. Then we will listen and check through the sound you hear. Okay, listen carefully, my dear student. Three, pronunciation. A, listen and repeat. What's the difference between A and B? A, good. B, group. B, listen and tick the sound you hear. Good. Group. Rule. Put. Wolf. Soon. Lose. Pollution. Bush. Football. Okay. Yeah, the first one. Huh. Rule. Rule. Good. Or group yeah very good thank you group next put put good or group okay very good good next wolf wolf yeah very good good next soon soon yeah like group Next, lose, lose, 
Okay, very good. Like group. Next, pollution. Pollution. Yeah, like group. Next, bush. Bush. Very good. Like good. Next, football. Football. Yeah, like good. Thank you, my dear student. Next, number four, listen. Look at the text below. What are they? What are they? Yeah. Here is a note. Normal writing. A note in normal writing. And number two is a chat speak. Very good. It's a message in chat speak or net speak. Okay. Listen to two short buttons. Sorry, listen to two short telephone calls and complete the missing information. We will listen and complete the missing information. Okay? Four. Listen. B. Listen to two short telephone calls and complete the missing information. Okay, number one. Ray, meet me at. Yeah, at what? Hmm, who can answer? At the stadium. Very good. At the stadium. Be there before. Yeah, the match starts at what? So I should be there before. What time? Okay, very good. Before 7 o'clock. Before 7. Don't be late. Number two. Are you at the space? He asks his, mo his mother. Are you at the yeah, supermarket? I need. Need what? Yeah, he says I need some crisps. And. And what? Huh. And. Yeah, very good. Orange juice. And orange juice. Thanks. Yes. Thank you, my dear students. Uh, now, with our homework page, please do your homework. Page 69 in the workbook. Page 69. Sorry, 96 in the workbook. Page 96 in the workbook. Thank you so much, my dear students. Goodbye and stay safe.